Dr. Dare Rides Again is the ninth episode of the third season of Full House. This is directed by Bill Foster and as always there will be spoilers from now as I talk about the episode. And it starts off quite interestingly actually because Danny is with the girls and he says that they need to name their new puppy. But they got the puppy two episodes ago so I don't know if this episode was meant to air before the previous episode or if that intro was meant to be in the previous episode but nevertheless they're finally getting around to naming Comet and of course they call him Comet and he's absolutely adorable and then Danny and Becky reveal that they're actually going out of town for work they're going to have a makeover which is quite interesting and we do get to see the makeover but I'll talk more about that when we get there and we also get the first time Michelle pronounces ice cream as ice cream and I don't know if that's what they decided for the character or if that's genuinely how Mary Kate and or Ashley pronounced ice cream ice cream when they were younger if anybody knows either way please feel free to let me know but it's certainly very cute and something that does come up throughout uh, uh, at least this season and we then have the main narrative starting when Jesse's friend Pete Bianco turns up and he refers to Jesse as Dr. Dare. And this is an interesting look at how a person can revert back to their old ways when they're around somebody from their past because this is exactly what happens with Jesse. And it's really fascinating but also kind of frustrating because they, they go out leaving Joey on his own to look after the girls. Jesse didn't even ask Joey if it was okay if he left him to look after the girls. And then they come back a little later on being really loud. Jesse does say we need to be quiet because the girls are sleeping. But then immediately they go into Jesse's room and start making a lot of noise, playing a lot of really loud music. And the girls are quite happy with this because they go through and they're dancing and Michelle's wiggling and it's, it's absolutely adorable. And the next thing we know, the house is full of people and we do get a really great performance great musical performance from jesse which is really great michelle yells party dude at one point so even though he is behaving i would consider to be rather irresponsibly the girls don't seem to be negatively affected by it which i think is a, a pretty important thing and the next thing we know Becky and Danny come home i'm not entirely sure how much time has passed here the passage of time isn't completely clear to me that's not necessarily a criticism, just a point of observation. And while Danny and Becky uh, have arrived, they, they have their makeovers. Becky looks brilliant. She looks as gorgeous as always. Danny looks very different. Again, not necessarily a bad thing, but certainly a very different thing. And it's, it's amusing to see. And Danny, because he looked cool, apparently that's what cool people look like, he wasn't completely freaking out at what had happened to his house with everybody gathering there but certainly it was interesting to see and while they're putting the girls to bed everybody else watches a home video and I don't find this interesting I've mentioned this before I'm sure I don't care for flashback scenes in any sitcom any tv show or any film very rarely will I find them interesting it's not the fault of the episode just personal preference I don't find flashbacks to be very interesting but we do see Jesse in his slightly younger days performing a pretty risky stunt on the motorbike and his his friend and I say friend I feel like Pete wasn't actually talking very nicely to him but I mean, calling him Dr. Zeus is kind of rubbing Jesse up the wrong way. Uh, and Jesse realizes he needs to prove to people that he is still that person. And off he goes in his motorcycle to do that stunt again. And obviously, everybody's panicking. This is really dangerous. It's not something he should be doing. And it's really encouraging to see everybody, even his old friend Pete, was discouraging him. Uh, and of course, Becky and, and the others go off in their cars to try and talk him out of this and thankfully and there is a great sense of relief here he he decides against it at the last minute which i think was the right thing to do and when they're back at the house we get a brilliant quote from dj and she says sometimes it takes more courage to just say no which i thought was pretty brilliant and a really great message so it is a great episode we have some really great moments finally the dog has a name two episodes later and michelle michelle in particular 
was really great in this. She really is getting, she's getting so many more lines and is getting so much more involvement and is generating a lot more comedy, which is such a joy to see. And it's a really great episode. I don't think it's ever going to be an all-time favourite. But that being said, I really like it. Dr. Dare Rides Again is pretty great.